So I guess you have to face the wall in here. Or they put these stickers on backwards, maybe. <laughs> I'm not following that rule. We'll figure it out. Oh, hey guys. Didn't see you come in. Um, we've got a few videos that we made while we were in Philippines. Now we're back in the U.S. But I've got some that I just didn't get a chance to post. So we're going to occasionally post some of those and put this little intro in front of them. So uh, here's one of them now. Hope you guys enjoy watching. I only have three words to say. <laughs> I love this that now. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And cut. <laughs> we tried to go pay our electric bill. That was our original plan. And when we got there, there was about a hundred people in line outside. So we decided we didn't want to sit in line for a couple hours to pay our electric bill. So we'll try to go back this afternoon, maybe when it's not so busy. Well, we decided to go ahead and go get our groceries today and went over to Walter Mart and we realized that Cecile had left her face shield at home so she used mine to go inside to try to buy another one but the Walter Mart grocery store said they were sold out and all of the stores are still closed so uh, wasn't able to get one there but we came over here to the mall and the grocery store here is open but the mall still closed so we had to park kind of far away and walk to the grocery store entrance but we got over there started filling out all our paperwork bought a couple of face shields from the security guard they're selling them at the entrance in case you don't have them and then I realized I didn't have my face mask. So I had to walk all the way back to the car and get my mask. So while we were here, I was going to just try to show some of the products people might be interested in the price. Got a lot of spam options. Got Vienna sausages. Pork and beans. Do you think this is copyrighted music? They got Campbell's soup here, but it's kind of expensive. Almost two dollars a can. That's just a normal small size can. We still have bread, a lot of varieties of rice. The other day when we were here, I saw small uh, cans of Folgers coffee and I was gonna go ahead and break down and buy one today, but they don't have any. It was about $10 for a small, small can. It's probably double the price in the U.S., but um, I prefer that to the instant coffee, but I may just have to switch to Coffee Co. for a while. We have quite a bit of that in our house. This one here. But I was going to go ahead and get the Folgers. They don't have it. So even though I can't get my coffee here, I'm going to go ahead and get some more creamer. And they don't have the French vanilla flavor, so I'll go with the regular original flavor. And that's all they have for creamer. 
so not much of a selection, but they're not really selling much for brewed coffee, so. If you eat much cereal, you can get frosted flakes here, but they're called frosties. I think they're exactly the same. Three dollars. They're not that big of a box. But a little bit expensive by Philippine standards. The cereal here is not really cheap. Even their local, it's all Nestle products, I guess. But not really that cheap. I saw milk over here. I was gonna go over here and look at the milk for a price. <clears throat> this is what we're normally buying. These boxes of cow head milk. They're not really that big. But about two dollars a box. So we don't really eat a lot of cereal and stuff. Uh, Cereal's kind of high, the milk's kind of high. We buy that. Liam drinks a glass of milk once in a while. That's about all we buy it for. But they don't have the big gallons of milk like what we would normally buy in the U.S. So this little box is about almost what a gallon of milk in the U.S. would cost you. So milk here is kind of high. A lot of the groceries really are. You just have to avoid the stuff that's too high. I mean, you don't have to, but if you're trying to save money, better to change your diet a little bit and eat a little bit different things than what you might normally eat. And you can definitely save money. But some of the things you might crave may be kind of pricey here. Heinz ketchup, big bottle for a little over $5. Not bad, not cheap, but not bad. Uh, much cheaper is this banana ketchup. That's what Cecile's eating all the time. And I need to find another bottle of soy sauce because she dropped mine and broke it. But I don't see the brand I like. I like Kikuman. Uh, some places you can find it, some places you can't, and I guess they don't have it here. So I'll wait. Crazy nights, figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met, you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's pregnant. So 
all done at the grocery store. Have to cut the sound in there because they're playing copyrighted music from the radio, I guess. I just wanted to show, give an idea, some of the prices at the mall grocery store. A little bit higher than some of the other places. Show you the some of the U.S. products. Didn't seem like they had a lot right now. Maybe they sold out of some of that stuff for the holidays. I don't know. I know one thing. This sidewalk is in terrible condition. <laughs> Every tile you step on is loose and the rest are broken. But the basket's going across it pretty well. I gotta make this jump somehow. Try to go here. So they have a lane over here where the buses stop and let people out from all the areas around us. And then you have all your tricycle parking over here to the side. I'll stop here while the national anthem plays. So we were here the other day and uh, witnessed the national anthem playing before the mall opened, but didn't film it. So I just happened to be filming today and walked up on it, so I just kept my camera going. But they do that here every morning, I guess. They do that here every morning before they open. Right after the morning prayer. So that's our quick grocery store tour. Uh, just showing some of the prices of the U.S. products. And while we were there, I just thought I would roll the camera, show some of that. Uh, just a quick video. So these little buses right here, they go all around Belonga, or they go outside of Belonga, or just mostly around Belonga? Belonga Terminal. They're just picking up people and bringing them to the mall. So they're kind of, I guess, owned by the mall, or the same people yeah. that own the mall. So just like a shuttle service. There's a car wash. Putting my arm right in your face, sorry. And there's the all home home goods store. And Coffee Project. I think Coffee Project just changed their location. It's not really empty, they just moved. On the second floor. Yeah. Okay. Take this. Let's film a little bit. Okay. And we're home. I will open the gate. <laughs> 